a little work with pleasure. So I'm up here visiting my girlfriend Angie, who we actually met because we played best friends on a TV show on NBC called American Dreams. All new American Dreams, NBC Sunday. And now, for homies in real life. Note to self, there is zero reception in the mountains. So we found the closest McDonald's that had Wi-Fi. And that's the truth, with some cheese on it. It's still a gorgeous day, so we're gonna go have some fun because tomorrow we're heading back to LA for VidCon. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is hot. It doesn't help that I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. I, I mean, I don't even know what to describe it. It is so freaking hot. What up, guys? We are getting ready right now for a featured artist party here at VidCon. This is my new friend, PJ. Oh, hey, how are you guys doing? This is actually my favorite channel on YouTube. I watch it every day, <laughs> without a doubt, not lying. I like every video, and I subscribe right now, which is, like, you should do that, too. I didn't even pay him to say that. Um, oh, and here's Yo, Blake, also vlogging at the same time, a vlog of a vlog. Yo, what's going on, you guys? I would never say this. <laughs> I would never say this to just anybody, but this is my favorite channel on YouTube. What? I do that every single day. PJ! You never paid me. At Overt Flow. <laughs> Honestly, traitor. <laughs> Day one, and I already set the high score for the girls' basketball, and I could win some Nikes. I'm pumped. Hi, guys. So, it has been an absolutely crazy week. VidCon was a total success. It was a lot of fun. I'm now back in San Francisco packing to go to New York. It's coming around so quick. You know, in every industry, obviously being in entertainment, I've gone to a lot of events, conventions, networking events, you name it. But they exist in no matter what field that you're in. And it's so important because at the end of the day, having great relationships is so key. So I thought I'd give you guys my top three things that I think are the most helpful when you are at an event. The first that I like the most is control the information. So most people, when they connect with someone, they're like, here's my card or here's my number. And I like to try to get their information if possible because I know that I'm gonna follow up. Number two, it's very important to organize <laughs> the information. I actually like to not only put them all into my phone with VidCon next to it, but also I actually go into my notes section on my iPhone and I'll write VidCon at the top and then I'll put in their email or their number, whatever it is that they give me. So instead of saving it into my actual phone in the phone book, I put it in the notes section and I write a little anecdote about what I wanted to follow up with them about. You know, when you're at these events, everybody's trying to push their own agenda, they're trying to tell everyone why they're awesome, which is great, and that's totally fine. You have to be ambitious, you gotta be a go-getter. At the end of the day, sometimes it gets a little old, and I feel that when you just try to connect with someone as a human, ask them something about them, ask them something completely unrelated to the field or the reason why that you guys are there. I find that not only will the work stuff come up in conversation naturally, that other person is gonna be much more inclined to not only help you, but also remember you because they have other things in their brain that they can associate you with other than just work stuff. So those are my three tips. Hope that helps you guys out and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.